विष्णु पाद परमान स्वर चय श्रीमान भक्ति सिद्धांत भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी श्री रघुपाद की जय जय ओम विष्णु पाद परमान स्वर चय श्रीमान भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती महाराज की जय ऑल ग्लोरी टू समल डिवोटीज ऑल ग्लोरी टू समल डिवोटीज ऑल ग्लोरी टू समल डिवोटीज ऑल ग्लोरी श्री रघुपाद नमो विष्णु पदाया कृष्ण पैस्ताया भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांता स्वामी ती नाम ने नामस्ते सरस्वती देवे गौरवाणी पचार ने निर्विशेष शुद्धवादी पचचार देशता ने ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाया ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाया ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय थैंक यू एवरी वन फॉर कमिंग टू दि संडे फीस प्रोग्राम दिस इज ए डबल स्पेशल वीक एंड एंड इवन टूडे यू गॉट डबल डबल मर्सी और यू गेट इट बिकॉज माई गॉड ब्रदर भक्ति बाग स्वामी स्पोक देन आल स्वीक एक्चुअली most of you are fortunate that you're meeting some of the direct disciples of shri prabhupada they are all getting old now so so it's very nice we talk about it we'll talk about chatanya mahaprabhu appearance today which we are celebrating tomorrow also chatanya mahaprabhu appeared about 500 years ago and shri prabhupada told us once that just by listening to the appearance katha a story of shri pak prabhu has said very clearly the chatanya mahaprabhu will bless you all unlimitedly so please pay the attention and because i going to be a short class today there won't be any question and answer but if i have a time it might become answer and question reverse that you guys are paying attention so i'll ask the question and you might have to answer it so the prediction in shri shrimad bhagavatam in the 11th canto chapter 5 verse 32 it was said that in age of kali krishna will appear but his color won't be the bluish it will be golden color and then also it was predicted in chatanya and chatamrita adidila chapter 3 verse 52 and uh, there it's also described the chatanya appearance and we had to discuss that why lord chatanya appeared even before we go to in a garang one i described the lord chatanya appearance in this universe and because they were prayer by advaita acharya advaita acharya could see that in kali yuga so many people are suffering and they are not following any principles he he was praying at the ganga that krishna should appear in this kali yug and in a simple way to get all of us back to krishna loka so krishna abide by the prayer of a devotee advaita acharya and as it described in chatanya chatya the leela 1268-69 that krishna himself appear and the purpose of appearance was very simple they were primary and secondary primary was krishna wanted to relish the mellow of radharani that why radharani enjoys so much the association of krishna even krishna could not understand that how it is so is he appeared to enjoy that part and also he wanted to enjoy the bliss and the taste of radharani 
and the secondary purpose of Lord Chaitanya was to fulfill the desire of Advaita Charya that to get rid of all the suffering. The aim of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was there to take care of Sikada. And even when Srila Prabhupada came to West, what was his aim? To take us all back to Krishna Loka. There was no different desire was there. And Lord Chaitanya appeared 537 years ago in Navdi Mayapur. As we all know, in Krishna Loka, when Krishna appeared originally, Nanda Baba and Mother Yashoda were there, his parents. And in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Nanda Baba became, who became? Let's see. Mother, no? Huh? No, Chaitanya, no, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. His father. Yeah, Jagannath Mishra and Yashoda became Mother Sachi. And that they appear in according to Western calendar was 1486. And he was a child of Jagannath Mishra and Sachi Devi. And the day he appeared was eclipse. Grand Otana. So it was there. Eclipse was there. And the whole people in Navdi Mayapur was saying, Hari, Hari, they're taking the bath in Ganga and saying, Hari, Hari. And when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared, they started saying, Gor Hari, Gor Hari, because the color of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was golden. And also, the, he was named as Nimai, because he was born under the Neem tree. And if you go to Mayapur, if you go to Iskhal, you come out of the gate and you turn right. It's a walking distance almost. Or you take a rickshaw if you can't walk that far. And there you see the appearance place of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is so beautiful. And the people, when they saw, you know, most of the Bengalis are little darker color. And then when the lady saw and the other people saw Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, that he's Gora. You know, then they start to call him Gorhari, Gorhari, Goranga. That gore and rung, that color is gore. So, so Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was there, and there's so many of his pastimes. The, the first, we can go through, they're not enough time, but we go through so many of them, but we go to a few of them. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Father Jagannath Mishra, used to invite different guests and Brahmins. And one day, he invited a Brahman, and the Brahman will only cook himself and uh, offer it and then eat it. So, uh, Jagadath Bhisha arranged everything for him to cook. So he cooked and he started offering, and he started offering to Krishna. What was there? And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is there, little boy. He said, oh, he's offering me the food, I have to go and eat it now. So he goes there and starts eating. And Brahman gets very upset. He says, you, why? Why you do it? I am offering it to Krishna. No problem. So second time, he cooks it again. And same thing happens again. And Jagannath Misha said, okay, please forgive me. I'll lock this little boy inside the room. And they lock it. In India, you know, you can't open the lock from inside, the lock with a chain. And he offers this again, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu comes again and eats it again. And he gets very, very upset. And 
then in the dream Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared as Krishna to him. He said, I did the same deal with you when I was a little boy in Nandagaon and there in Braj. So, so Krishna, when you do it with the heart, he comes and eats it. People say so often, why does he come and eat? He does. You have to your eyes and heart to ask. I recall a little incident of Prabhupada. One of the devotees, he start, was praying in Mayapur. And he, he said, three times. Prabhupada said, why three times? Once is enough if you do it properly. That, that's it. Is. And when he was 10 years old, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu knew all the Shastras, everything else. And at that time, a Brahman, Kashmiri Pandit, came from Kashmir to all over India. He was so much Sanskrit scholar that he could defeat everyone. Everybody who had a conversation with him, he'll do it. And people in Mayapur, all the people are saying, who we should book locally? They said, let's pick up Nimai. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he can uh, deal with him. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu did not do it in a big session with publicly. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was, after taking the Ganga bath, he was walking, and at the same time, Kashmiri Pandit was there. And he said, okay, it's a good idea to talk to him right away, now, while we are here. So he asked the Kashmiri Pandit, please, Describe Badar Ganga, how you can do. And this Kashmiri Pandit was so fast, in few seconds, he made it over 100 shlokas in Sanskrit. One, two, three, like a rain coming down. And then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu started talking. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu could remember all those 100 shlokas. And not only that, he added 64 more shlokas and he found out all the faults of Kashmiri Pandit that where he missed the real purpose. And Kashmiri Pandit became so impressed that he bowed down to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and all the people in Navdi Mayapur celebrated at that time. And then, story at the time of Rath Yatra, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu spends lots of time in Jagannath Puri also. And at the time of Rath Yatra, you know, even here, when we have a Rath Yatra, we have three cards. Jagannath Puri had three cards. And you know, here, everybody looking for uh, Bhakti Bhag Swami should come at Subhadra card, somebody saying Jagannath card, everybody trying to get, you know, bigger Kirtra. So everybody wanted Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was present similar at the same time in all the cards. He was chanting with the devotees. This is the Leela of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Of course, here, as I was saying, <laughs> Bhakti Margo, we are only at one card. We can't do that. It's only Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his Leela. And then, uh, story of John Kazi, a very famous story. There was a magistrate, Muslim magistrate, there. And when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came, between Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Nityananda, everybody was chanting. All you could hear in Navdi Mayapur, while Mardanga, Kartals, and Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Everybody, where was Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Bol? So people got very upset. People started complaining, the Muslim people. So, John Kazi had to do something. He was Muslim. So, what he did, he went to the home of Srivas Pandit. 
and he goes there chanting is going on there so he gets so mad that he picks up a mardanga and breaks the mardanga and the message goes to chaitanya mahaprabhu that this is what has happened so chaitanya mahaprabhu said okay to nityananda prabhu now get all the devotees of navdeep and let's go on a chanting party outside and they went out to chant everybody was chanting hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare and they went to the home of chand kazi and chand kazi got scared what happened what's going on the so much and chaitanya mahaprabhu had a conversation with him and gave him the real purpose of life that chanting is very important and kazi start weeping little bit his eyes got wet he said after i broke the mardanga last night i could not sleep and when i slept there was a person came with a loin head he had a big nails and he was furious and look what he had done i he said if i if i stop this sankirtan movement he will finish me and i am not going to not only this he made a in writing not only while he is alive all his uh, children and whoever become the magistrate in navdeep they cannot stop the chanting so chanting hare wo chanting was so important so everybody start chanting hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare so my god my bhakti mark went through the eight shloka chaitanya mahaprabhu wrote chaitanya mahaprabhu asked all his disciples to write the books and rupa goswami wrote the index of devotion it is called a law book of iskon so many books were written by six goswamis the disciples and <clears throat> but chaitanya mahaprabhu spoke a lot but he wrote down only eight shlokas and first one was described all glories to shri krishna sankirtan so you know when you tell somebody number one item it has to be most important item and last item is important too when somebody going for shopping oh don't forget this but first you give him a list and the chaitanya mahaprabhu said the glories to shri sankirtan and then number 2 he said only holy name of krishna can render all the benefit he does say you can do two things three things five things he said only holy name of krishna so what we have to do remember only holy name of krishna it is very hard for all of you for us to to remember all the shlokas and shrimad bhagavatam and chaitanya charitamrita and going to bhagavad gita to 700 shloka remembering it 18000 shloka as i said in uh, shrimad bhagavatam so chaitanya mahaprabhu gave what a simple solution he said just chant hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare and number 3 text chant the holy name of krishna humbly and meekly person has to be very humble the example is given like a blade of grass you know when you walk on the grass in the garden he don't get up hey why you're walking on me so you have to become that humble proudness can't get anywhere he's not going to like proud if we remember the story of krishna when he was invited by the jodan where hundreds of preparation was there krishna did not go there he went to vidhar's house and had 
chapati and a little bit of salt spinach so this is what is this time so we have to be very very humble and we should have no desire in not a situation of give and take you can't come to krishna here my 10 dollars and the request is a big house and little bit money when comes in there take up spare i want a car tonight or need bmw no no you have to have no desire of wealth a woman followers and only service to krishna my guru maharaj ac bhakti vedanta swami prabhupad nothing else he had a desire when he came even to america he had no money with him the story in the books it says he had 8 dollars but i came in 60s i got 8 dollars too by the government of india so probably did i had even that you see when the jalduta started leaving the in kolkata the last thing was his son came to see him and probably said i got nothing to give it to you probably goes to his pocket and say this is my 40 rupees for you you know the desire and then chant the holy name of krishna and no look for something else and next number 5 please pick up and give the shelter as i said you are requesting to chatanya mahaprabhu please do that and show the tear of love while you are chanting i was told by radha sham sundar mandar vindavan the person we had pujari there who is old. when i met him years ago proper used to come and stand in front of radha sham sundar and his tear will come for hours and then the eighth one no one but krishna is my lord nobody else so we go through two more incident of shila prabhupad and maybe next time we can go through the whole uh, leela and what is there so lord chatanya instructions and teachings were accept the things which are only favorable to the krishna consciousness reject unfavorable things like you associate with the devotees and don't associate with non devotees believe firmly in krishna protection not long time ago when shila prabhupada came who can survive with two heart attacks when no medicals there krishna was there and then you have to get some books like chatanya charitamrita and krishna book and krishna leela prabhupada leela book is past time and if you go outside on the book table you will see a special price on this chatanya charitamrita set and everybody should take this and our interest should be same as krishna's interest and always feel humble that chatanya mahapu said again and again and again and then chila kan in conclusion because i got only couple of more minutes prabhupada said what is is kon is he said we worship krishna we think of krishna remember this now we worship krishna we think of krishna we work for krishna we glorify krishna we chant for krishna we dedicate our life for krishna this is our philosophy this is krishna consciousness nothing much and shila prabhupada gave a lecture in atlanta at the same month of the chatanya appearance time and that was 28th of february 1975 48 years ago i'll read that to you 
the last paragraph. Two lords, Nityananda Prabhu and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they have appeared just to reclaim the fallen souls of this age. They are more kind than Krishna. Krishna is very kind. He comes to deliver, but Krishna demands that first of all surrender. He is so kind. So, we have all seen it. Prabhupada, why start choking there? As we are saying in the sixth instruction there. And people have seen it. You know that Prabhupada choked. We are choking. And so t Prabhupada said, so take the shelter of Sri Chaitanya Mahamprabhu and be happy. Thank you very much. And then Srila Prabhupada started weeping and weeping after that lecture. And even when he was here in 76, he went in a trance. We have all seen it. So this is our Srila Prabhupada. So all of us should give a special thank to A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami, my beloved and most merciful Guru Srila Prabhupada. So we should thank him from the bottom of your heart and all of you, when I say Srila Prabhupada, you put your hand up and really thank him because with his mercy you are here. Because he came here, by the way, in 76, he walked through every time, all over here. Srila Prabhupada Ki! I, I thought we were going to be loud. We want somebody coming from Avenue Road. We tried two more times, please. Thank him from the bottom of your heart. Shira Prabhupada Ki! Shira Prabhupada Ki! Bhor Purva Ki! Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Ki! Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So we'd like to thank Shivalas Prabhu. We do have a few housekeeping announcements, so I will keep it brief. First of all, we'd like to call Brahma Prabhu forward. So for those of you who don't know, Brahma Prabhu is our head pujari here. He is here every morning around 3 a.m. to wake up their lordships and perform the first arti. He has been doing this dedicated service for over 35 years. And today is his birthday. We all, we have met, met Prabhupada too, I have a different color. I go to a shop and drug, it's just change. So here is, his life is greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Please give a